So now let's first explain the glands and what hormones are produced and then we're going to talk how they work together. More precisely how they work in the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So I'll just now quickly go through some hormones and let's start with kidney. So here we have two kidneys which produce the hormone that I've just mentioned and that is the renin. But they also produce the erythropoietin which stimulates the erythrocytes production and the thrombopoietin which stimulates myocaryocytes to produce thrombocytes. Kidneys also produce the calcitriol which is actually the active form of the vitamin D3. And in case I didn't mention it earlier, I actually have vitamin D3 deficiency because I spend very little time outside. I, I'm always sitting on my computer or working or studying, so, so I don't spend any time on the sun. And I have vitamin D3 deficiency. Calcitriol is also important for raising the blood levels of calcium and taking it actually from the bones and also absorbing it from the gastrointestinal tract. So right here next to the kidney or above the kidney we have the adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands they look something like this when you zoom in and when you cut them. Basically you have here the medulla and you have the cortex around here. In the adrenal cortex we have the glucocorticoids, the mineralocorticoids and the androgens produced. Most important out of all glucocorticoids is the cortisol which is also known as the stress hormone and it's actually turning fat into glucose. It stimulates gluconeogenesis. It also inhibits immunological and inflammatory responses. Aldosterone however, the main out of all mineral corticoids, stimulates active sodium reabsorption in kidneys stimulates passive water reabsorption in kidneys and that way it increases blood volume and blood pressure and the main out of all androgens is the testosterone but we're going to talk about that in the upcoming video so stick with me i will also talk about the hormones that are produced in the medulla and that is the adrenaline noradrenaline dopamine and encaphaline but before we explain all of that, I want to stick a little bit here more and explain you what I promised, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So basically liver is producing angiotensinogen and kidneys produce renin which splits up angiotensinogen and it produces angiotensin 1. The angiotensin 1 then goes into the lungs and in the lungs capillaries there is angiotensin converting enzyme which further converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 has two major functions, so remember it's angiotensin 2 and it has two functions. It affects the adrenal gland and the kidney. In the kidney, it binds the receptors on intraglomerular mesangial cells, causing these cells to contract along with the blood vessels surrounding them and that way produces the filtration rate in the kidneys but it also stimulates the aldosterone production and release in the adrenal gland. Now let's explain the remaining hormones that I mentioned here and the sex hormones as well. To watch the fourth part of the video click here. To watch my previous video click here. These lessons come as part of my software that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. If you don't want to purchase it, then at least make sure you subscribe here for new free content that I release regularly on my channel. Thank you.